Hey, horse lovers. So this morning we're gonna be going to Kensington Park to condition and train some of the horses. Actually gonna be letting my husband ride my draft horse for the first time, Gaston, so it should be really fun. And then I'm taking two junior students out on the trail. Cause next week I'm doing a 25 mile endurance ride and then I'm taking the juniors out to do a hunter pace. So enjoy our training today. You good ponies. Okay, so we just arrived at Kensington Metro Park. We tacked the horses up and then we're getting ready to mount and head out on the trail. All right, we're ready to go. So that's my husband, Kyle, and he's on Gaston. He's riding him for the first time. Gaston's a super good boy, as you guys have seen in the other videos, so I'm really excited for him to try him. All right, we've been walking for a bit, so we're ready to move out. Enjoy the view. So far, so good with Kyle and Gaston. So since this is a metro park, there can be a lot of things going on. Lots of cars, motorcycles, bikes, kayaks, dogs, anything you can really think of. So right now we're walking past this dog that's barking at us. He's at his house, but and there's a fence and everything, but he's loud, but the horses are being really good. So I'm really proud of them for handling that well. Okay, we're past the dog, so now we're gonna move out a little bit more. It's just super beautiful day. It's like 73 degrees, sunny. We could not ask for better riding weather and we are taking full advantage of it. What? So Gaston is a very forward, powerful horse. So Kyle's just getting used to that, but he's doing really well. And then Emily is on Aurora. She's the darker brown pony, as you can see right there. And Piper is on Miko. He's black and he has the stripe. They're both awesome ponies, so I'm really excited that they could both come out. Super, super fun. So I'm really looking forward to next weekend doing the 25 mile LD, which is limited distance. Cannot wait to see how Jiminy does. It's just gonna be me and him doing that. And then Sunday, I'll be doing the hunter pace with some of my students. And that'll, I don't know exactly how many miles it'll be, they don't tell you, but probably between like nine and 12. So it's gonna be a super busy, fun-filled weekend. So that's why we're using today as a conditioning training ride for next weekend since it'll be at the same location. So what we just did was a three mile loop. So we're oh coming back across the bridge that we crossed originally. And we're gonna stop at the creek river right there and let the horses take a drink before we go on to do our nine and a half mile loop. Experience. There's some kayakers right there. I don't know if any of the horses has ever seen them before. I think Jiminy's seen them from a distance, but not close. None of the other ones have. Okay, now the horse has got a drink. We're gonna canter through the field and then get back on the trail. Hello.
you can kind of see here, I'm riding Jiminy Bitless. Again, really, really love this for the trail. He responds in it excellently and he can eat and drink. So it's really good when we do our longer distance rides. I just blocked the road. <laughs> Horses technically have the right of way, so. Huh? so we have to cross this bridge on the road to get to the trail on the left hand side. So we're doing so very carefully no. and since we have four horses we're kind of blocking the road. Okay. It is more of a quiet road so that people will yield and equestrians do have the right of way so trying to go slow. All right, we're gonna get back to moving out a little bit. <laughs> They're so fun watching them canter. Marigolds, maybe. So I'm sure you figured this out by now, but my favorite thing in the world is just to be out in nature with my horse and move out and just experience everything that you and your horse can do together. It is amazing. So I just feel super blessed anytime I have the opportunity to do this with my horses and especially to take other people. I really love being able to share this experience. I think it's really important to work on the trail and get out of the arena sometimes, even though I love arena work too, so don't get me wrong there. So this hill I'm about to canter up is actually a lot steeper than it looks, but I think this is one of my favorite spots on the trail. It's so pretty and it's just so much fun to run up this hill. Okay, I'm gonna let Kyle lead with Gaston for this stretch. The girls are rocking it with their ponies. They are doing a phenomenal job riding and keeping up today. As much as I love hill work, I also really enjoy just flat grassy areas where I can just canter and gallop if I want to. It's so fun. So my husband keeps like holding his reins extremely right. loose. And as you can see, like I don't have like a ton of contact or anything, but he rides with them so long that like he cannot stop or steer. So try to yell at him to keep them shorter. Also, another thing you'll notice me saying a lot is slow. That's kind of my word to my horses to obviously like slow down or stay calm. So that's why I'm saying that.
So Jiminy is trained to stop when, or slow down when we're going downhill. So, but right now I just want him to keep like a little bit of a jog, so he keeps slowing down. So I'm just kissing and asking him to continue to trot because he's just trained to like automatically walk at a hill, which is usually good, but I want him to do a little bit of trotting because this is like a small decline. Okay, we got another stretch that we're gonna canter on up here. It's my favorite thing to do. Jiminy also really loves to go fast and a lot of times I just have to hold him back especially today because I just want to keep everyone behind me safe but if you just give him the slight indication to go faster he's like okay looks like everyone's still hanging in the back Aurora is such a sassy, opinionated little pony, but she honestly is also such a gem and loves the trails, and Emily does so well with her. Coming up, there's a sign on the ground, and Jiminy literally completely jumped, like, seriously so high sideways. As I'm recording neck raining, I feel surprised I stay up. <laughs> So we're on our way back to the staging area. Once we get a little closer, there is the river and the creek that we were at at the beginning of the ride. So we're gonna ride down there and let the horses get a drink, play and cool off for a little while. So it's really fun. I love going in the water with the horses. So there was about 10 kayaks. So we stood there and waited for them to leave. So now we're gonna walk up and Go in the water, let the horses hang out for a bit and cool down. You're fine. Just let her drink, put your hands down. Good boy, Miko. Okay, good boy. Yep, keep walking in a little farther. Yep, squeeze, squeeze. Good job. Right rein, right rein. Good, forward. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I hope he rolls. <laughs> For being so scared of it at first. in the water with
Squish it out of shank. Get it out of shank. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> Good for their legs. Here we go. Watch your rain so he doesn't get his leg foot hook caught in it. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> I love how he switches lane. <laughs> It's fine. It doesn't go that deep. Like, you're fine. Let him go. He's a mermaid in his past life. He's like a big whale. There's a river at the house, Shay. I know. Yeah, they're good. Okay, we're walking back to the staging area now. Well, that wraps up our ride. We did 12.5 miles and had a really good time. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you could do me a huge favor and smash the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. Working really hard on this channel and I love being able to share these opportunities. So thanks guys.